Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, guide you. Hold me in your hands, Lord Jesus. It's the time that you are speaking, not my voice. It's you, even me, who is going to speak. And this is going to help many others who are going to hear this and see this testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So when I came into the world, as you said, it is a very difficult time where we receive from everyone the tribulations at the beginning. Yes? So it was the same thing what I faced in my house especially. And it was a COVID time and uh, all were at home the work from home especially my husband was working and he was working from home and um, i was continuously watching the videos even though children are in the classes online classes or he is in the work that's the time where i would get little time they will be all busy in the online classes work from home and i will sh spend time with the lord here alone with hearing the word of god teachings and spending the time and when they would come and I got many things to hear from them, you are going to get mad what you are doing every time with the word of God, word of God, what is that? So much to spend. Okay, you spend a little time. We are also spending a time with the word of God, but not like you continuously like sitting and spending time. So I was just I was not opening my mouth because I was already in the word of God and I heard the teaching that power of words is and the power of words says that death and life is in the power of your tongue and suddenly that would remind me and I would keep my mouth shut and I would speak to God at that time Lord as you brought me in the word of God and this is your family Whoever is speaking whatever, I do not care about it because you are there to care for me. Yes? And you are going to bring those people, my family members, into the world. And I would say only in my mind and I would speak it out silently and they would, they would not hear. And as days went on, that's the change I see in my house, in my husband. The very person who would speak all these things is now God has shown, has brought light in his life where he is sharing, he is sharing the word of God. I do not know, like the way he started last six months, six, seven months, the way he, he was in the, he was about to write the exam to, for his office to get some promotion or something and it was a compulsory thing what they had to do some exam and he had joined and uh, joined the classes he finished the classes he wanted to write the exam and God stopped it I do not know God stopped my husband to study those worldly things and brought him to study the word of God now he has not had given the exam but whenever I remind him you have to write the exam almost one year over you have joined the classes and you need to go and write the exam before March. And he will say, I'm doing, God is there with me. I do need not to worry about that. I'm doing with the Lord. By the grace of God, I have finished my exams. And that is the time now from June onwards, he has started only spending time with the God, the word of God especially. And the way he is going about, surely this is what, here in Psalm 23. Surely the goodness and mercy follows you all the days of your life. The person who was coming after from his office to home, he would spend, he would come by 8.30, 8.30 daily and after that he would be, he would have his um, dinner and he would not spend time more only the family prayer after that he would sit from 10 o'clock till 12 31 he would sit with his laptop to do the office work and the same person now he doesn't open his laptop for any office work now the same person opens the laptop and he does all the word of god slides 
all the worship songs he plays the worship songs he spends time from 9 9 9:30 on his start till 1 hour till 10:30 11 he spends time in the word of god he gives sessions to the people he shares the word and after that he never opens once he comes back home now he never opens his laptop of his laptop for any work that is the happiness what i am seeing in him as he is coming closer to the word of god that is the joy that joy is never ending happiness can get over at certain moment at one point but the joy that god gives us not the world gives but the joy that the word of god gives that when we spend time with the word of god that is where we experience the true love of god that is the relationship when we spend time with anybody especially very close person who is very near to me anybody is yes, for you or for anybody the person who is very close to you may be friends or a parents or your husbands if you are married then your husbands the very close uh, person will be your husband yes when you spend time we need not ask his appointment we need not fix a time that i will speak only this much and come back to you i need not write if i want to speak to him i need not write anything and go back to him and tell him this 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 thing as we do like every day prayer right family prayer we just take up prayers our intentions we speak we need not we are not giving time for god to speak to us yes as a family prayer time is spent all these days before we would come to the word of god what we were doing we were just going to the altar we were sitting as a family praying and that prayer would only was only uh, one person speaking to god we were not allowing god to speak to us yes we are not we were not waiting patiently to hear his voice and to hear his voice is only the word of god where we are spending time with him we need not see we are not able to see jesus lively as Uh, all the disciples saw as we hear the word of god that jesus appeared to this disciple jesus appeared to mary magdalene this that everything in the bible right but when we receive those words through faith yes that is where we experience jesus just sitting beside us and talking to us not that i speak to jesus i speak <coughs> through the holy spirit to the holy spirit is i give time i wait patiently when god is speaking through his word to me and that's where i build up relationship when i go to my husband i don't write certain things prayer intentions like we go to the church or we go and um, share with somebody right this these are my problems even to the doctor yes we go and tell these 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 things yes but to the husband or to any other whoever is very close even to my mother if i want to go and speak i need not write and go and come back speak to them and come back yes i hear i sit and spend that yes that is from my heart i speak to jesus that is from my heart i speak to my mother that is from my heart i put out everything to my friend yes so that is the relationship where we build up once you build up that relationship with god every time he speaks to you you are in distress you are in happiness you are joyful you want something he will send you somebody to fulfill your desires just have the desire for god you seek kingdom you uh, as matthew 6:33 says yes seek his kingdom kingdom seek his kingdom and his righteousness and everything not some things not one or two things everything shall be added at the end it must addition yes it's not subtraction but to the worldly people when we go and speak we are also worldly people but when we are now we are in the word of god we know with whom we have built up a relationship even though we have built up a relationship and go to the worldly person we know that jesus is there to safeguard me even that person is a he is thinking against me god is there to change his mind now sister you mentioned an important point called desire yes desire to uh, desire for the things of the god of god yes. now how does this desire come for me when i speak about the desire mm mm-hmm. 
from the time I came into the word of God, it was only I made a desire. And I can say that was Psalm 37, 4. God mm. gives delight in the Lord, Lord and, and you will and he, he will give you the desires of your heart. I didn't know this verse, but from the beginning, whatever I desired, the time I heard the word of God, teachings, I had the desire. And I didn't know this verse. Never I heard at that time. And as I went on yeah, hearing, the word. hearing the word, God put not I desired. He I put the desire. He, put he the gave desire. you the desire. He gave me the desire. So, in other words, you were spending time yes. in the word of God. Once upon a time, you were the same person spending your time in other things. Other things, yes. When you were spending your time in other things, receiving the knowledge of the other things, what was happening? You were getting the desires of the world. world. Yes. But now, you made a decision to spend time in the word of God. Yes. And when you were making, studying the word, in that time that you had, through that word, you were getting knowledge. Yes. And through that knowledge, you were getting desire. Yeah. The desire to do what the Lord is asking you to do. That's the same thing that happened. Yes. So this desire comes from God. It is the Holy Spirit who, you know, gives us the desire to do the things of the word of God. Yes. And sister, when you came in the word of God, you also mentioned another thing. That your family was not yet yes. there. Yeah. Okay. So, now what you are seeing is very real. Really. Yeah. There is no evidence to say that, you know, what you are believing for. Yes. But, and how long did it take for your family to come in the word? Started in 2021. I came into the word. Okay. 2021. We started uh, going to the, through the teachings. Yeah. Of Jesus. After that, I think 2022. Yes. That one year. Last year, last August onwards, the real change that happened in my house. Okay. So, it took almost a year. Yes. Now, waiting for one year, every day, with no physical evidence, yes. is it easy? No. Then, how could you continue? What made you continue? The word of God, as I said. It gives me the desire, the Holy Spirit gives me the desire to spend more and more time. And as I spend more and more time, I did not focus. I did not change my focus. Very good. Mm -hmm. And that was the time I, uh, even God, even Holy Spirit did not bring to my mind that your family is not in the world. Yes. So initially, you came with a desire that Lord answer this request. Yes. That's how all of us start yes, our, yes. our uh, you know, journey with the Lord. Even when I started, it was first, Lord, get me out of this problem. Yeah. That's how I started my journey. But in the process of hearing the word, spending time in the word, this word, which was renewing your mind every day, <laughs> daily, brought a change in your focus. Yes. Now, you were once upon a time seeking the Lord to change your family. Yeah. But now your focus shifted from that to I want to know more and more of Jesus. Yes. And when your focus was so much on Jesus, you started seeking the kingdom of God, God. and his righteousness. Yes. And by default, what happened? All the other things yes. what you wanted yes. added. were added unto you. Praise God. Yes. Can we give the Lord a big hand? Thank you, Jesus. So, sister, would you like to conclude with a closing prayer? Yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly um, Father, I thank and praise you, Lord, for this beautiful time where you were beside me and beside amidst everyone here, teaching us the faith, the core kind of faith, the very faith that you showed to the whole world through your word. Everywhere Jesus went, 
and he performed a miracle. He taught each and every person. He casted out demons through faith. Yes, Lord. Through faith, we truly believe you are here and you are teaching and we are here every time to receive your word through faith in our life, in our situations. Where we can focus only on you, not on any worldly things. Not on any, any human, but you as a Lord God and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching us what your word means. What is the value of your word in our lives that takes us to your righteousness, to stand beside you, Lord Jesus to build up more relationship. You are waiting there, Lord Jesus, for us to build a relationship with you, not just like any human being, but as your children, as your child, as your brother, as your sister, your calling. Thank you, Jesus. As we walk this journey of faith in your word, Lord Jesus, we are here surrendering ourselves, seeking your kingdom first, and putting away every worldly things away out of our way that takes us far and far from you. We can see only your way, Lord Jesus, that leads to your salvation. Thank you, Jesus for protecting us, for guiding us, teaching us and confirming with your word every signs and miracles, Lord Jesus. And we are not stopping here, Lord. We are stepping out with you, Lord Jesus, to share your word. And you have given that grace, that desire to take your word to every person, to every soul that is lost. And you have made a perfect way to share the word, to share your truth, your gospel, to the ends of the nations. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father, who made this prayer in mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.